So before I get into my what I got for Christmas haul, I want to show you guys a very special Christmas gift to our family that was just so heart touching and literally I was in tears when I saw it. So this is a picture of my mother that was painted from a picture that we actually used for her, the front of her obituary. And I cannot tell you guys how much this means to me. I, when I saw it, I was like literally crying. And then I took it on Christmas day to show to like my mom's sisters and my brother. And they were, they looked at it and they all just like teared up because I don't know, it's just, I, whenever you see a picture of a loved one, like someone that you're close to, it just, it brings up emotions that it's so overwhelming. It's, they're powerful emotions, but so for me to have this and I looked around for almost a year to have someone to paint a picture of my mother and I got these empty promises and, and it never came through and again to have this is just is a beautiful and I, I have it up I have not hung it in my house because as you guys know my house is for sale so I just don't have any personal artifacts on the wall or pictures but I have it hung it but it's near like my vanity like I look at it and I mean it's just this special gift that anything that I'm about to show you guys cannot by any means overtake um, what this one means to me and my family. I, I mean, it's just, when I look at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, like the artist touched on, I mean, he, he did this within a couple of hours. Like this meant so much to me. I'm, I'm telling you, I can't even put into words, but this really meant so much to me to have this. It's beautiful. So anyway, I wanted to show that to you guys first because this was the best Christmas gift ever. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. So let's get started with what I got for Christmas. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually going to be a what I got for Christmas video. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my new phone i got the note 4 and i actually end up having to change carriers um, because the carrier that i've been with since 1992 um does not carry the note phones and i really wanted this phone so this is what it looks like and i love white phones like my s4 my s5 and this phone right here of course all has been white and i love it, it has like the little stylus pen and I have ordered some cases, but this is a case that I got from AT&T the day I purchased my phone because I did want to protect my phone while leaving the store. Um, and then I got a tempered glass screen protector just in case if I drop it, this will crack before my screen, hopefully. I've had this on all of my phones and I have not had any problems with with it whatsoever and you can still do the touch screen without a problem so my note 4 and I purchased this phone a couple of weeks ago so it's an early Christmas gift to myself yay <laughs> um, then I got some new Nikes I am a gym shoe holic like everything else that I have but especially gym shoes and these are extremely comfortable i think of all the gym shoes that i have this is the probably the most comfortable pair of gym shoes that i own i mean i had these on probably for like 14 days i mean 14 days for 14 hours and i did not have any problems with my feet hurting underneath the bottom you know sometimes when you wear gym shoes they kind of burn under your feet the longer you stand on it especially the shocks Oh, they're horrible but these are amazing. love these I mean they feel like air underneath your feet like I really love these gym shoes and so a couple more items that I purchased for myself <laughs> mostly everything here I purchased myself 
because every time I bought for like my girls or my sister or my father, um, we pulled names um, on one side of my family. And so, and I just found myself like when I buy a gift for one person, I end up buying one for myself. But my sister wanted a pair of Tory Burch sunglasses. So I got her a pair because, you know, she got me a nice gift for my birthday. And I kind of went, not too skinny on her birthday gift, but there was something that happened around. But anyway. She ended up getting some Tory Burch sunglasses, and I actually ended up getting some as well. I actually got two pair of sunglasses, and I didn't need any more sunglasses either because I have about 20 pair, but these were like amazing. Like when I tried these on, I was like, oh my gosh, gotta have those. I think my sister got the same pair, if I'm not mistaken. And so I got these, and they come in a little case like this. And then you can put them inside of the bag. And it also has like the little Tory Burch symbol. And what I like about the bag too is that you can use it to um, clean your sunglasses. And I got another pair. And these are Prada. And I have always wanted a pair of Prada sunglasses. And I finally got them. And here they are. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway so this is the case which is really neat I love the way this case is and it has a cleaning cloth, cloth in it as well can't talk but those are my Prada sunglasses and I've already worn my Tory Burch ones I had those on Christmas Day so let me see where I'm going to put all this stuff um there okay so for my sister I got these leggings they are really really pretty i haven't tried them on still have the tag and everything but she got me these leggings because i love wearing leggings especially on the weekends when i just really don't want to get dressed and then i got this pico shirt to go with it which is like a brown color and then my cousin pulled my name and she got me this little crop sweater which is really pretty and I was gonna wear it today but I really didn't feel like putting any clothes on but I probably wear it some other time but I really like it it's this cranberry color that got black in it it's really nice and then she got me the Japanese cherry blossom um, bath and body works mist which I love this this is one of my favorite ones I actually keep one of these in my car so it's funny that she got me this one because you know whenever you leave the gym or you know, before you come home and shower, you got some errands to run, you just spray this on and you're fine. And then, because I'm such a health um, guru, is what she said, she got me this. This is the Breda water filtration system. So, I like that. She gave this to me. Just in case I want to use like some tap water, you can put a filter in here and use it and you're fine. And let's see here. I got several things here from MAC, but I also want to show you. I got some perfume, Giorgio Armani, and this is the New Sea perfume. And I got the big bottle. It's like a 3.4. And I actually have the rollerball in this. And my sister and my sister got the same thing, so it's really nice. And it does smell really good. Um, I like the smell of it. I have a huge bottle, which I'll probably never go through that entire bottle. Um, but, never know. So got that, and what else did I get? So I'm going to show you some things I picked up from Ulta and Sephora and MAC. I have two bags here. So I'm going to start with my Ulta haul. I got... Um, stuff for Ulta because this was like really was intended to be a Christmas gift <laughs> but end up keeping it for myself but this right here wasn't I actually picked this up for myself it's the contour kid um, from Anastasia Beverly Hills you guys probably have seen this and I love the feel of the packaging on here but these are the different um, powders that you can contour and set your foundation with like I really like that 
and then you have like a highlight here that's the highlight right there um i was gonna see if they had the colors on here but they don't I know one of them has like the banana powder. I think on the newer packaging of this, I think it may have, oh, here it is. There it is, the colors. So you have sand, vanilla, banana, java, uh, fawn, and Havana right there. And then I picked up, this is like one of my all time favorite perfumes. And this will probably be in my um, 2014 favorite products is the Giorgio Armani, the Aqua di Gio. I think that's how you pronounce it. But the bottle that I have remaining is like bare minimum. And this was like a full bottle. It's the um, 1.7 and it has like two roller balls. This is like my favorite perfume, especially um, on the weekends. I wear this, it lasts all day. It has a nice smell to it. They do have the light one, the Toilette, which is a lighter version of this. It's not as like of a thick perfume but I picked this up and it was $72 and then with the purchase of a perfume you got a clutch bag and so I got this one and I was going to give this as a gift but I ended up keeping it um, but this is the clutch bag that I got and that and you open it up so this would be nice to wear like New Year's Eve or night on the town or you know if you go to an event of some sort that would be really nice. But I decided to keep it and not give it away as a gift. And then I picked up from Sephora, I picked up the Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector Pressed um, Powder in Rose Gold. I picked that up. And I must say that I really, really like this powder. I've only worn it a couple of times, but I love the shimmer that it gives. And you guys probably have seen this before in a couple of videos, but this is a rose gold. I already have the opal one. Um, I'll swatch this for you guys. That's it right there. It just gives a nice, pretty, subtle highlight. I love it. And then I came across, I don't own too much stuff from Buxom. Find a white here. Um, I have some Buxom lip glosses and I don't really buy them because I don't like that tingling feeling that it gives you on your lips. But I came across this Dolly High Roller collection. It's a nine piece full face um, collection. And I can't remember the price of this, the original price of this, but the sale price of it was only $25 at Sephora. And I was like, okay, I have to get this. And it may be one of these spare the moment things. I forget somebody's um, Christmas gift, but I didn't have to give it away. So I kept it for myself and I got the last one and it has like a waterproof eyeliner. It has dolly brush bankroll luminizer tahiti escape bronzer it has a cha-ching eyeshadow strip poker eyeshadow chocolate diamonds eyeshadow royal flush eyeshadow and a double ended lip polish and lip cream and it comes in this right here and this looks like you know the cards like this um like if you're playing spades i don't know what a deck of cards, that's what I'm trying to say. So like a deck of cards, you have that right there. And this is what the packaging looks like. Maybe if I turn this light off, you'll be able to see it. That may work better, let's see. that's it and look how gorgeous that is and the color here that I was really um, intrigued about um, it's called cha-ching it's a really pretty silvery gold um, eyeshadow silvery gold with an undertone of brown 
greenish brown color it's really really pretty and that's what really got me about this so i thought i was going to use it as a christmas gift but i end up keeping it for myself and we'll see if i use it because <laughs> i have so many palettes that's it's crazy so put that back in here so as you can see i purchased a lot of stuff for myself i'm gonna turn this light back on because i really like it better and then from sephora i picked up the Kat Von D. This is the um, Star Studded Eyeshadow Book. And I can't remember how many shadows that's in here. 24 shadows. And the crazy thing about this is it was originally priced at $55. And they had it on sale for $28, I believe. And I was going to get both of them that was there but there was a lady that wanted to get one for her daughter for christmas so i was really nice and i was just like okay well you can have this one because they checked to see if they had some more in the back and they didn't so i just gave that one up but um if i can get it out the packaging so this is what it looks like and then it tells you the colors that's on the back. And it has this large mirror right here. And then here are the colors. And then it has like the little flap to tell you what the colors are. Look how beautiful those colors are, guys. And I have about four, uh, three or four of her palettes already. So um, these colors are absolutely beautiful. The pigments of these colors are awesome. Uh, you can't go wrong with purchasing this and this like I said was like $28 so I got a great steal so and I purchased that a couple of weeks before Christmas so you may want to check your Sephora to see if they have them um, discounted but my Sephora had them discounted and so I got a couple of things from Mac um, our Mac counter is inside of a belt and so um, for December 21st and 22nd, they were given, Belk was given out $10 cash, like certificates that you can use on anything. And then also Belk had a coupon that you get um, $10 off a $25 purchase, including um, cosmetics. So they had a coupon that I, I just, I was back to back with my purchases because it's not often that Belk gives coupons and you can get use them for cosmetics and nor do they ever give ten dollars in cash to use for shopping so i'm going to show you a couple of things not a couple but a few things that i purchased um, i got a couple of these little sets right here these are the pigments and this one right here is the like navy and white pigment in the black and this one is called objects of affection it's the silver blue pigment I picked that up and it come in a beautiful case like this it's like a cameo right there and then I picked up um, a lip gloss set that I was going to give to my niece and this is the object of affection um, nude plus red lip glosses um, and I still may give this to her because that's who it was intended for and i love the packaging on this one the black is very very pretty and then i picked up another pigment set and it looks like this and this is more of the um, neutral colors so this is like the gold beige um, pigments plus glitter absolutely beautiful so if you guys want to see me do some looks with these please let me know because i'm excited about those and I originally brought that for my niece too. And I was like, no, I have something else for her. So I picked up, how many lipsticks? Mama, why you got, Mom, there's nothing. Three in, lipsticks. There's nothing in boxes under, around the Christmas tree. No, they're all gone. Okay, I'm going to finish doing my lipstick. So I picked up Fawn. And this is a really nudie pink color. And it's very similar to something I already have, but I picked it up because 
I mean, you can't go wrong paying $6 for a tube of lipstick from MAC. And that's what I did. <laughs> and then I picked up Ladybug. And this is a gorgeous red color. And I had planned on doing a Christmas look with this color, but I didn't. And that's it right there. But that's it. It's really pretty. Six dollars for that. I got a lot of those little certificate things. I had I was <laughs> I got two or three on my own. Then I had my oldest daughter to get a couple. Um yeah, I wrapped up. And this one is called Ravishing, which is like a peachy, um, corally nude color. And I had not seen this color before. And that's it right there, swatched. I haven't worn it yet, but I just thought that was really, really pretty for like a very nice nude look. And then I purchased um, Bright Forecast, which is a Prep and Prime highlighter pen. And it looks like this. You guys have seen it before. And you just turn it up and the product comes out. And I actually went to go get the peach colored one. And I was told that with my skin tone, I probably should go with Bright Forecast instead of the peach one. And then I purchased a cream sheen lip glass. And this color is in Just Superb. And it's just the pinky nude color. It's right there. And I think that is it for my MAC haul. And then also I picked up um, the Stay Perfect Primer. It's a flawless finish for all day wear. And it's number seven. And I picked this up at the bookstore on the university campus. And I think you can purchase this at Target. But I purchased this the week um, before we got out for Christmas. And so I'm excited to use it. I'm going to, as you guys know, Becca, the primer is like my all-time favorite. So I'm going to be trying this one out because the Glam Twins use this and they actually really love it. And this is not even a full ounce, but it says beautifully soft to apply and easily easily blendable. This is an oil-free formula that creates a perfect canvas for foundation to keep the skin flawless all day so we'll see if this if it works um because it's hard to beat that becca one but that's it guys that's what i got for christmas oh and i purchased a karaoke machine um a karaoke little thing with a microphone for the family just to have fun with um on christmas day we had a lot of fun with it um the girls really enjoyed it and I always wanted one, but this one is really neat. So it's in the other room, so I'm not going to get it. But it's just karaoke machine. It's a uh, Bluetooth one. So you don't have to put in like desk or anything like that. You can just play something on your phone through Bluetooth and it transmits over through the speaker. So anyway, guys, that is it for my Christmas haul. I know this video has been extremely long and I do apologize. I'm trying to make sure I'm not leaving anything out here. So anyway, if you guys have any questions about anything, I'm not really going to list the products in the description box because I'm about to put this stuff away. But if you have any questions about anything, if you want to see some looks with some of these products that I've shown you guys, please let me know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.